Well, we're joined now by the Care Minister, Norman Lamb. Uh, Norman Lamb, can we just take up Liz Kendall's point, the shadow Care Minister, who's saying, look, if you think uh, that care has been capped, it simply hasn't, because basically it is all very much more expensive than most of these figures model. Well, the local authority in any area will determine what the cost of your care package will be, and that's what will be paid under the cap. And, uh, of course, any individual can choose to pay more than that if they wish to. But well, I think... there may not be an option, actually, to get care well, but... as cheap as you're hoping it's going to be provided but, for. But the local authority has to identify what it would cost to provide care in that particular area. And I think, look, overall, this is a very significant reform, which I think actually has been widely welcomed. People, of course, have a debate about the level of the cap, but this transforms a very unfair system. Uh, circumstances where people have worked hard throughout their lives, they get to retirement, and then they're hit by catastrophic costs, and they lose everything. That's, that's deeply unfair. And, and this package of proposals, very cleverly designed by Andrew Dillot, focuses most of the help on people of, of modest means. Uh, and if, as your package explained, if you've got assets up to 123,000 now, you will get help from the state, and that will make a massive difference to a lot of people. What, 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 I mean, in the end, given the austerity that young people are suffering, the fact that the elderly in the last two years of their lives or 2.3 years of their lives, uh, lose everything, as you've put it. Surely, in the end, that's life. I think most people would say that we should protect people against the catastrophic loss. Dill not absolutely accepted that we have to uh, pay for our care costs in normal circumstances, but it's this sense that uh, there is no way in which we can protect ourselves from uh, dreadful care costs. In most other aspects of our lives, we can insure against it. We can't do that here, and it surely is a reasonable role for the state to protect people from those awful circumstances. None of us know whether we will be hit by it. And, you know, as a, as a Liberal Democrat minister in this coalition, uh, I think this creates a fairer society, and I, that's well, something well, I'm very does proud it? of. Does it? You no, had it... choices, surely, which would have created an even fairer one. Now, here's my bus pass. <laughs> I'm a full-earning character. I don't need it. I mean, I don't use it because I ride a bicycle anyway, but... I'm very impressed, uh, I and so got, do I. I. Indeed, but <laughs> I have got that privilege and many other. Isn't the time now for the rich to lose their universal benefits? Well, look, of course, in future parliaments, th this coalition made a commitment about the benefits that are available to older people. Of course, parties can come forward with manifesto proposals for the future. But I think this creates a real sense of certainty, and that's what Dilnot was after. And it also means that... Yeah, but I'm pushing you on what your alternatives were to inheritance tax, for example. Well, look, it, let, let me just what take... What is your resistance well, to dealing with the rich? Let me... Well... Inheritance tax deals precisely with that. It means that those with the largest estates will pay a proportion of this cost. And surely well, that is actually what we're after. This is a progressive set of proposals, both in terms of where the money's coming from with that move on inheritance tax, but also where the money is directed. It's helping particularly those people on modest means who at the moment get no help at all. If you've got assets right. over 23,000, you you're on your right. own. But let me just press you on the political point. This, this, you wagged the inheritance tax dog. That was your measure. I mean, the Tories didn't want it. You got it. Well, look, in, in any, whenever you come up with a set of proposals which cost money, you have to be able to demonstrate where the money's coming from. We put that forward. Uh, it seemed to us to be reasonable because those with the broadest shoulders are bearing the, the, the heaviest burden. And it was accepted as part of the negotiation. That seems to me to be a reasonable thing to do. Norman Lamb, thank, thank you, you very much indeed for coming.